Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to lubricate your clutch lever on your 2008 Yamaha FZ6. So in the manual it states that you should lubricate the clutch lever with a lithium soap based grease every few thousand miles or so. And one thing with mine is it's working just fine but it is a little gritty. It's kind of hard to hear on the camera as I squeeze. There's just a little bit of grit. So I think we got a bunch of dirt and sand in there, so I'm going to be removing it, cleaning it, re-greasing it, and then uh, putting some Loctite on the bolt and reinstalling it. And the only tool you'll need for this job is a 10 millimeter. So first you'll want to make sure that your handlebars are unlocked, uh, that way you can turn them to get easier access. Then let's go underneath the bike. As you can see there's this single 10 millimeter bolt, let's go ahead and remove that nut in the bolt and remove the clutch lever. One thing you might notice as you're loosening this bolt, it will begin to spin. So to fix that, simply just push down and continue to loosen the bolt. We got that bolt out. As you can see, there's a smooth surface on it, as well as some threads. Then we also got the nut off. Let's go ahead and remove the lever. And now I'm going to go in there with paper towels, brake clean, and clean up all the existing grease. And then I'm going to add new grease. And one thing to know when this is clipped to clutch cable is not to be rotating this just because that can cause the wire to twist. But then to take it off, there's actually just a wire with a little hammer shape. And if you look at the bottom of the clutch lever, there's a little uh, place where that hammer goes and then the cable goes this direction. Then on here, I'm going to clean this inside part with brake clean and then as well as this part. And just in case you maybe broke your lever off or got in an accident and need to order a new OEM part, it appears this might be the part number here. It does recommend to grease the pivot point. So I imagine when I think of a pivot, I think of here where you're pivoting off of it. So we're gonna get some grease all up on here as well as a little bit on here and then uh, pack a little bit into this pocket. Obviously you don't wanna have too much cause then the dirt will stick to it, but not too little cause then we're getting friction and rubbing, but just a good amount. And when greasing in here, just make sure to take your finger, put a little grease on it. Just get all of the surface area, top, bottom and then you really want to scoop into those pockets to get the grease in because the pivot lever actually is right here. Now that the pockets all greased up like I said I'm gonna grease this so let's do the surfaces just lightly as well as the bottom here then I want to pack a little bit more just into this pocket where the hammer goes. It looks like a lot but it's really not a lot Let's go ahead and squish that hammer pin back in there, swing it to the side. So to reinstall, like I said, here's the hammer point. Let's go like this, slide that hammer in. Then once the hammer is slid in, you rotate it about 90 degrees. And when double checking the manual, it actually does say the clutch lever pivot shaft. So let's go ahead and slide out this shaft bearing. I don't think there's any top or bottom. Let's go ahead and clean off this outer surface of the bearing, the inner surface inside of this part right here, as well as the screw that goes through the center of this. And let's apply new grease. So as you can see, I've cleaned off this bearing. It's pretty shiny again. Cleaned off all the old grease. The reason why it's important to clean off the old grease is because old grease and new grease, if the compounds in the chemicals are different, it can create a chemical reaction which can cause it to degrade really quick. So that's why it's important to strip out all the old grease. As you can see, I've got that surface cleaned off as well as the threads. Let's go ahead and clean inside of here. I wetted a paper towel, some brake clean, and I'm just cleaning out all that old gunk. So now with our new grease, uh, we can grease the outside of this. Just apply a thin layer all the way around. And with that thin layer on the outside of the bearing, I added a little more. Let's go ahead and slide it back into here. All right, and the squished out little extra grease, we'll clean that up in a minute. And let's go ahead and rotate that full 360 just so we get grease um, all the way inside around the circumference of the bearing and the clutch lever. Now coming back to the screw that holds it in, let's go ahead and grease this and that'll help get grease on the inside of the bearing. Um, I'm not really gonna grease the threads. I think we're just fine without it. One thing to note when reinstalling the clutch lever is careful not to break off this little actuator nub. If you notice it pushes in and out. So you'll kind of want to anchor this over it and then push it inward. Uh, if you just push this this direction, it'll snap this off. Let's take our nut, slide it back into place. Give it a squeeze, that might help. Now we're just tightening up the bolt. If the top begins to spin, simply press down on it, rotate it a little to get it to fall into the groove. 